Hey, this is Eric Stahl. Hi, I'm Crystal Duran. Crystal is kind of a regular here on Ford's Toyota, if you know who she is, uh, but she's also like a super customer on 2018 Camrys, because <laughs> you have a 2018 Camry, right? I have the pleasure of driving one for the last couple of months, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, actually, Crystal and I were talking about some features that are on the 2018 Camry, and she's absolutely in love with them, and you want to kind of share them, right? I do. So we're going to get in the car and show you some of the stuff that's going on in here that Crystal really loves, okay? All right, we're in the uh, 2018 Camry, and uh, one thing you were talking about, and I, I feel stupid not even really knowing this, but gas prices, you can like find gas prices super easy on this thing. You can, and with the gas prices going up and down, I like to use um, the app on the Scout GPS. Mm -hmm. Oops, let me go back. The fuel app, you can click, and it will give all the area gas prices. So oh you man, can, that's cool. You can decide where you wanna go and get your cheapest gas, and you can actually even scroll down a little bit. And then if you click on it, will it like take you to that gas station? Let's see. Yeah. Go right to the map. Cool. That's awesome. So, so you don't have to spend money again. You might save like $100 well, a year right there. Well, and then you can, you're not driving around looking for where you want to go. You can just yeah. hit it and then you know exactly yeah. where you want to go. Another yeah. thing too that's really neat about the new Camry mm -hmm. is the automatic high beams. Um, I think some of can those... You, can you show them that button? Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Here, you can turn it on or off. I leave mine on. So at night, I mean, my high beams aren't on all the time, but mm -hmm. if I turn my high beams on at night, I drive a lot of country roads, so I'm always looking for deer and whatever at night. So those brights will stay on for you, and then if a car is coming at you or you're approaching a car, they will automatically go off. And they also will go off if you slow down to a certain speed, I've noticed. So oh, really? if I'm coming to an intersection, yeah. they will go off for me. And then once I accelerate, they'll come back on for me. That's pretty cool. And then, you know, if I'm if I'm coming up on a car and the, that vehicle passes me, then they'll come back on. So, like, I know whenever I get in a new car, I was like, man, the headlights on this are, like, amazing. Is that the case when you got this one where the headlights, like, pretty cool already and yeah there and my husband even said those head, the headlights on this car are really bright because i was following them one day but i don't have people like well that's what i was worried about so it's me. nice to have the automatic because you don't realize how bright your new headlights are yeah and then next thing you know you're flashing at you or something like this yeah, so this kind of takes that out of there doesn't it one thing that i really like about this too is when i'm traveling on the highway it has um the cruise control the automatic oh the laser cruise yes yeah. So if you don't know about the laser cruise, this thing is really cool. You yeah. can set your speed and the car will maintain that speed and it can detect how fast the cars in front of you are going. So it will slow you down automatically. And I was explaining to my friends that way I can make a safe lane change <laughs> instead of like, oh my gosh, here I'm coming and I'm, you know, so it will automatically slow you down yeah. and you can adjust if how close or how far behind you want to be. Mm -hmm. There's three different options, so I think that's really, really neat to have. No, it's really great. Uh, you know, we're not in really congested areas here in, in the Midwest, but when you're on the interstate and there's a lot of cars and you just don't want to have to deal with, mm -hmm. you know, dodging in and out, you can set it at a comfortable speed and not worry about having to constantly be up and down, up and down all the time. Um, same thing with the lane departure. Have you oh, yeah, played with that at all? Or, yeah, or have you have you, had, it, have you had it bounce you back yeah, on the road? Yeah, it does, and yeah. it's it's weird at first, but I I do like it, and you can turn that option off if you don't like it. But yeah. um, like again, I drive on some country roads, so it will detect some of those lanes, and obviously on those roads you do kind of go over a little bit, but mm -hmm. it just kind of guides you back, and it's it keeps you alert. It's definitely a nice feature to have. One of the features in the car, and I've tried to do this. Uh, this has got that thing where it automatically stops. Like if you come on like a wall or another car in front of you. It, it, yeah, I, I don't know if you've seen the commercials where they're driving and like the deer comes out and it flashes red and goes break, break, break. Yeah. And, I mean, it's in the commercial. Um, yeah, that has happened to me a couple of times. Really? Um, I was coming up on a, like a T. Mm -hmm. And I knew I was getting ready to break because I had seen the people there, but apparently the car didn't think I was braking fast enough. Yeah. And it was like, you better break now. And I'm like, oh, hey, Seriously? So. <laughs> I, I had a customer come in the other day with a RAV, and he's like, well, so we were explaining lane departure and all that. And I turned on that brake setting, and I thought, oh, well, here, I'll just show you. I'll come up on this, this car in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my nerve. I mean, how? I mean, you got to be 
getting yeah. pretty close, right? No, and I didn't know it was going to do it. But then <laughs> I thought, I, do I tell my husband that that happened? That that actually does work? You know, That'll like, be on video. So, He'll know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I couldn't do it. I, I just thought, man, I don't know how fast i got to come at something. And I, and I thought about even just like driving towards a wall, but literally... Honestly, was not coming that fast at somebody. I was kind of surprised it even went off, and then it did do it another time, but I can't remember what I was doing. But yeah. it hasn't since I've been very okay. Careful, All right, so. yeah, yeah, she's much better driver than she was when she first got the yeah. car. Yeah, <laughs> when I was, I was probably messing with the coffee app or something. Exactly. Um, exactly. It was what was the other feature you were just talking about? Um, the dash will um, during when the weather changes and the temp changes. Down here, I notice if it dips like around 37 and below. When I start the car, it'll give me a little orange message and say, you know, be careful. The roads might be icy today, and mm -hmm. it keeps the little snowflake out for me the whole time and shows that it's cold out. Mm -hmm. And um, it also gives you other messages, too, if you're driving. For instance, my mom, she's got a new RAV, and she was driving home from St. Louis. I like the way she brings her mom into this. Well, <laughs> somebody I know was driving a RAV the other day Yeah. home from St. Louis, and it gave him the message... Um, do you need to stop and get some coffee? And this person said, "It's and it's like a big coffee cup that pops up." Yeah, on the, and yeah. and you know she was laughing. She said, "I don't know. I guess I kept hitting the the each side of the lines yeah. on my lane departure." And so yeah. it asked me if I needed coffee. But I know it did that to my husband once too. He was driving for a long distance, and so after you've been driving for so many hours, it'll say, "Do you need to stop and get a re and rest or stretch your legs?" Yeah, uh, that same trip I was talking about where I was trying to crash the car intentionally. <laughs> I was also bouncing off the uh, the lane departure, which is kind of cool because you can drive for five or six miles. Just that's not really what you're supposed to do at all. But um, you could bounce for a while back and forth. But what happens is the car all of a sudden pops up with a coffee cup saying, "Hey, <laughs> wake <laughs> up, dude!" Yeah, you probably shouldn't be driving right now in your current condition. I think it's kind of the message I got out of it. So, but no, it's pretty cool. This thing's all decked out. Um, well, I think we've gotten a pretty. I mean. Crystal's like our expert, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to post this video, and if you have any questions about your 2018 camera, I'm going to funnel them over to Crystal. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just showed my friend who has a new Highlander all these features, too, because her car has some of the same ones, and they didn't know about the high beams and the park assist button. Um, I don't Absolutely. know if she knows about the um, I mean, I love this car. I, I don't want anybody walking by it. I don't want anybody breathing by it because I just feel like it's just it's just gorgeous. It's comfortable. Yeah. It's so sporty and it is so fun to drive. I mean, if you're in the market to get a new car, you definitely have to test drive this car because right. it's a lot of fun. That's like a testimony from a real customer. Oh, it is. So. I love it. Yeah, I love it. And uh, so yeah, she's on. She's always on like a permanent lease, so I'm sure she'll get another cool car after this yeah, one. My 13 year old wants me to gift this to him oh. in three years so he's in love with it too. Awesome, awesome. Well, you don't, when a 13 year old boy says uh, I want you to keep that car that's usually a sign you got a cool car. Yep. Alright, excellent. Well, thanks Crystal. Uh, this was awesome because I actually learned a few things and I validated my insanity on the, uh, the crash course <laughs> stuff so <laughs> I'm glad I'm not Be the only one. That. Exactly. Alright, so the next time you find a cool feature or something that just blows your doors off by your car you gotta tell me about it, right? I will. All right, cool. Thanks again. Thank you. Hmm?